Hey guys, it's Eric the Real Estate Shark checking in here, getting ready for vlog number five. A little bit crazy, so you know I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and uh, and definitely share this. I'd really appreciate it. So uh, look forward to showing you guys this week's adventures. I work to find the funny things that be in my life. So I hustle. Sunday morning. Uh, I've been out of the house already since 7:30. Uh, had already completed one uh, some showings with the first buyer waiting on my second showings here um, so another kind of buyer tip that I wanted to go over is um, regarding like pre-approvals and what you should do you know prior to starting showings or even when you're kind of just getting started um, it's definitely good to meet with the lender or at least have a conversation to kind of see where you guys stand. You you know maybe better off than you think, um, but more so it's it's good to have um, the ability to quickly get a pre-approval or already have one. You know in the event that you know we find something that that you like and that you want to move forward with. You know in today's market there's still quite a bit of multiple offers going on and uh, having the bill the ability to quickly act is definitely something that is is going to help out you know I've I've noticed that even when houses sit on the market for you know 60 100 to 300 days um, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're gonna be around forever uh, you know all of a sudden there can be interest in multiple offers or we're going to look at a house and there could be a contract so you know you, you don't want to just look at time on the market as hey this house is gonna be around forever you know I have time if it's something that you're interested in it's definitely something that is worth pursuing so uh, we can definitely get into more of this later if you have any questions or anything like that please feel free to reach out well this has been a productive day so far woke up early to go on a nice walk did my hundred push-ups for the day uh, had a closing for a client that we've been working for a little while, couldn't find the right place, and uh, we were finally able to get that done. Um, in the middle of negotiating some home inspections issues for a, a listing that I've recently got under contract for myself. So uh, it's time to take a quick uh, break to get some food, recharge, and uh, and then get ready to tackle the rest of the day. So since we're on the topic of home inspections and sellers, um, something to take into consideration is that every home inspection will come up with something, whether that's something big or something small, there's always something that's going to come up. And that doesn't mean that uh, it's necessarily bad. You know, no home is perfect, especially pre-existing homes. Um, so we just need to work through it and figure out, you know, some things that we'd want to fix, some things that we may want to give a credit for, and something that may be as minuscule that, you know, we want to pass up and focus more of attention on, on the bigger items. So that's something that we want to remember is, you know, not every home inspection uh, is bad. We just need to kind of work through the items and just realize that something will come up. Um, at least that's the mindset that we should have, that something will come up and that we will we'll get through it, whether with fixing it, uh, possibly offering a small credit or, you know, working through uh, a solution. So, and I'm always there uh, for my sellers to kind of walk them through it, offer some uh, experience, some guidance uh, to make it as painless as possible for, for both parties. Well, thank you for watching this week's vlog and I hope you got some good tips out of it. Um, I apologize that it's taken me so long to get this posted, but I will definitely keep you guys updated for next week's adventures. And I have some really, really exciting things coming up that I think you will all enjoy. So I look forward to it and see you soon. Please remember to like and share this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you know, leave a comment if there's something that you want me to go over, if you have any questions or anything like that. I will see you guys soon.